Yeah. Okay, up next we have Jeannie with a poem about the last judgment. Philip shouted as the door to the judges' chambers flew open, commandeering the entryway, a brilliant figure with cornrowed hair wrapped like a knit cap, skin the color of garden loam, shaped like a neolithic fertility goddess draped in luminous green silk, slender hands perched on mountainous breath, rolling down to a soft globe of belly and buttocks. Seeing her, any hopes the defendants had of buying their way out of this case were dashed. This time, due process would be served by Judge Mother Earth. Through the sweltering days that followed, witness after witness testified of the harms on humanity and all manners of life by a gang of corporatistas posing as human but lacking any iota of a soul. Scientists testifying for both sides were reminded repeatedly by the judge to speak in terms that a child could understand. And for that purpose, a row of orphans occupied the front row. Their posture deteriorating as the trial progressed and the evidence of the crime was revealed. The defendant, a monolithic monster called Monsanto. A thousand men in thousand dollar suits joined at the hip. Executives, lobbyists, pseudoscientists, shareholders, and politicians moving in lockstep to the witness stand, answering each question in one voice. We plead the fifth. Is it true you knew that glyphosate, the active ingredient in your broad spectrum round herbicide Roundup, which was being generously doused on genetically engineered Roundup ready crops, causes nutritional deficiencies and systemic toxicity? The little ones raised their hand and pleaded, We don't understand. And Judge Earth asked the attorney to rephrase his question. Simple, simple. Keep it simple, please. And the prosecution tried again. Is it true you knew that Roundup was responsible for causing an explosion of chronic diseases, including autism, colitis, Crohn's disease, obesity, allergies, cardiovascular disease, depression, cancer, infertility, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, multiple, multiple sclerosis, ALS, and aggressive behavior? The children groan for these medical terms.